Hello everyone, I am so much welcome once again to today's tutorial and I still remain Odurole Mojibola, your shoe making made easy tutor. And today we are going to be teaching ourselves how to create this glad. It's actually a very simple gladiator sandal pattern. And I'm not, I'm sure you would like to see how I will be simplifying this once again today. Now in celebration of our 5,000 subscribers, we are going to be having a 50% discount on my ebook and all subscription. Please, 20 four hours this will only last for 24 hours so if you want to maximize it please go ahead and maximize it if you need details please comment in the comment section and then i will duly respond to you you can also send me a dm on instagram or on facebook at gbfm40 sit back and i'm going to be right back. so for our gladiator standard, we are going to be using this, our paper grid method. Now, the first thing I need to understand, I need you to understand, is the way the pattern look like. You should be able to analyze your pattern for you to conveniently draw on your shoe last. Now, I want you to know that you can decide to draw it on your foot. I have taught us how we can do that, so I would suggest you watch the the video tutorial on how to create a bunion feet sander pattern. I totally use my foot to draw the design. So the first thing you need to understand is the positioning. Now, if you look at it, you find out that we have uh, a ring on the side and yet we still have this side this way and this way this way. But I'll try to explain as simple as possible. The first thing I want us to do is consider this side now i want you to know that this is where my opening ends for this last i need us to see this so this is where my opening ends on this shoe last the the width that i need for the one that, that is going to enter in between the two, big toe and the small toe i need about is 0 0.5 of an inch or is 0 0.75 i think 0 0.75 should be very appropriate now i'm positioning it this way so i'm going to be starting from here like i said and we are going to be measuring 0 0.75 it's easier to use a measuring tape now this is i'm starting from here so it means from this side to this side is one inch i'm not using one inch i just want to use 0 0.75 now from here to here is 0 0.5 why from this place to this place is under 0 0.5 so in between is where we have our 0 0.75 so it means whatever my extension will be is going to be this long so this is going this way this is going this way i need you to follow me gently so we have on that side you can decide to use a flexible wire to go about that just to create the long shape that you need at that point so let me just try to do that and on this side we are going to do the same thing we are just trying to create a perpendicular line to what we have here so from this now from what we have here this is 0 0.5 0 0.75 please it might not be as wide as this it depends on you or the size you are working with that is the first thing now i'm going to try to extend this to this particular side as well this other side of my last so just bear with me I'm just going to try to, I want us to see it, but at the same time, let me try to place it this way so that you can see what I'm doing. So this way, I believe you can see it. So this is coming to this side this way. So all we need to do is extend this on onto this other side and extend this one as well on the other side knowing fully well that this side is going to actually be wider than this so on this side we are going to be using about two inch wide the width is going to be two inch wide so let's go ahead i always love to start from one don't mind me because of this iron this particular measuring tape is not meant for shoemaking it's for sewing mistress so i'm going to start with one and i need it to be two so let me quickly go ahead and then check it out. I need it to be two inch. It means I am going to be stopping at three since I started with one. So adjustment, 
let's say here yeah, now you can decide to make your own 1.5 you can decide to make it two. it depends on you but i'm going to be using two for the sake of our gladiator sander so this is where we have two so it means it's going to the width of this side is going to be from here down to this place don't mind mine down to this side and it's going to be two inches it's going to be two inches so we already have that fixed the next thing we are going to be doing now is we are because i told you earlier you have to ensure that you analyze your design it helps you to get a perfect result the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be coming to this side where exactly do we want it to stop now for instance this is our instep this is our core as far as our shoe last is concerned i'm sure those who have partake of my three weeks intensive training should know that and those people who have always been in my classes so as you can see this is our center line using this center line you can use it to navigate to wherever you want your final your your gladiator sander to stop don't forget we have a strap by this by this side that our the rope that you're going to be using all around your leg is going to actually pass through as it pass through this particular pattern as well as you can see it on the screen so i'm going to go ahead and pick the point on the side i think i want to quickly go about this let me try to do a rough sketch of what our instep looks like this is quite a rough one so this is our instep which is the center of our last knowing this now i am just going to go ahead and measure about 1.5 of an inch from the center line to this side and i am going to also do the same thing on this other side 1.5 as well on this other side so i can start with one and this is where my 1.5 will end if you don't want yours to be as wide as that fine if you want it to be longer it's all your choice so but i think with 1.5 it's perfect if you want it to be longer please there's no problem with that so now the reason why i'm placing this here is for me to be able to know how to navigate around this side of my design so what do i do i'm going to now go ahead and measure this side I'm going to measure on my last. I just want to I just want to measure it up from the end of you know this edge of my last. I'm going to just measure about about I'm coming. I'm going to measure about two thir two third years. This is two three quarter of an inch, which is three point seven five of an inch. Two is actually two point seven five of an inch. That's what I measured so at that point is where i am going to create my curve at this point i'm going to make let this one come this way then it will go right to this particular side it will come to this particular side now it can actually go much more inward it depends on you i need you to see this i hope you can see it though i hope you can see it so i am going to use this i'm going to use this to shape it you know i always love to use a flexible material to always shape my designs because it makes it easier as far as i am concerned so if i'm coming from this side i'm coming from this side don't forget i am coming to this route can you see the way the shape looks like so whichever way you want to go about it just make sure it stops at this point so that is what i am going to do so like what i have here i will hold it right down try to do the sketch and let it come back right this way now i'm sure you can see what i have from what i just drew here I just try to cough it in. You can see what I have here. So you can actually use your flexible wire to actually do all materials. You see, this is actually a wet and it's an EVA foam wet. It's made of EVA foam. So anything flexible will do that for you. Now that we are through with this particular side, now let's go to this other side of our material, of our pattern rather. So 
Now, for the second part of our gladiator sander, I'm going to also still use this. Now, you can decide to use free end if you are sure of how to go about it, which is just for you to make sure that you your center line, you can still work with your center line. Let it come straight down. Straight. Let it come straight down. Let it come straight down. So by the time you get to this side, then you can cuff it in. So come straight down a little bit. This is about two and a half of an inch, if I'm correct. Let me check it out for us to see. So let me use it like this. So, okay, this is about two. It's about two. It's not up to two and a half of an inch. So you can actually move like that. You can move a little bit downward. I think it will be fine. So then before you now decide to now hold your whatever you are using to make your design and let it go this way let it come and meet this one this way i'm sure you can see this so you can see what the side look like you can see what this side looks like now the next thing we are going to be doing don't forget that we there is actually like a shape here where both of them where our strap our gladiator strap is going to be suspended so i'm still going to use this so just make sure you lay your hands on something flexible that can do this for you so now you can see what i have you can see what i have just ensure that the width on the two side is the same thing so if you are using one centimeter or 0 0.5 inch make sure it's the same width for this and this and then you close it up now you find out that our gladiator sander is ready ready so i'm just going to trim all of this out and then i'm going to show you how to go now because for the strap by the side all you need is just about six inches for long because you have to fold it in i've taught us a lot about creating strap by the side and it's actually the same thing so i'll, I'll, I'll actually had a video to this particular the end of this video so that you can see how i go about side strap so that you can follow that and use it to create the side strap but for this let me trim out so that we all can see now before i trim it up i quickly i want to show us something if you look at this side you'll find out that it's quite it's not as wide as what we have in the picture so you can decide to actually adjust it a little bit and let it come out more I hope you can see that you can see that just for it to be a bit wider than usual so I believe this is fine so all we need to do is to do a little adjustment on this side too so you can see now I've adjusted it too I think we are good to go with cutting right away God, I'm grateful. Now, by the time you want to fix this one after cutting, when you want to fix it, you remember that when we were designing it, we start from this edge. So it will not stay perfectly well until you adjust it to come to this side. So I'm going to say that by the time you place it like this, it will be having issues settling inside here. So it means you have to adjust to adjust a, a way this way. I mean, you have to adjust this like 0 0.5 centimeter or one centimeter 0 0.5 centimeter then navigate it back to this particular shape 
because it will not stay now let me quickly show us something you will find that out can you see that it's not staying properly so it means you still need it to go inward a little bit by the time i cut what i'm saying you will see what i'm trying to show us so by the time i increase it this way by the time i increase this i actually had to show us because i actually noticed i omitted this in the video so i had to use this to show us so considering this it will it will it will perfectly come to this side and if it's still not staying properly well it means you still need to trim it more so don't be afraid of trimming it properly until it perfectly fits the last now this is the one i trimmed initially i don't know what happened to the video so i need to really chew us so you can see what finally happened it will position itself by itself by the time you adjust that so you you can decide to make sure that you don't start your own from exactly this edge when you are designing this part when you are shaping that part so you can see what we have now this is actually a very good one you can see what we have so for the side i believe you should be able to go around your strap and be able to go around the strap on this side then the long strap for the gladiator sander too it depends on how long you want it to be all around your leg if you want it to get to your knee just make it as long as possible so it can actually come from the back it enters the one at the side it enters this particular one from under then you can roll it all around wrap it around your foot i want to believe you have enjoyed today's tutorial if you have please ensure that you like and share this video and if you are watching me for the first time ensure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can be enjoying much more simpler version of actually creating different patterns and design now i need to remind you that in celebration of our 5,000 subscribers i am giving out a 50 percent discount on my pattern ebook so if you are not paying 13 13 dollars you are going to be paying 6.5 of a dollar and if you would like to be part of any of my subscription classes i have for beginners i have for advanced which is majorly on eels and beginners is just the general standards and slide for men women and children if you are interested in any of this you are going to also be paying a 50 percent discount please note this is going to last for only 24 hours so i congratulate you if you are actually watching this particular video be between the four 24 hours that we have so if you need details please let me know in the comment section and i will duly guide you on how to go about it thank you so much for being part of today's tutorial and i am going to see you next time bye